everybody with AI and automation on the rise, an age-old question is back on the table. Will robots take our jobs or create new ones? Maybe a bit of both, of course. Kate Rogers here to explain. Hi, Kate. Hey, Tyler, we're here at Zipline in South San Francisco. The company uses robots to change the way deliveries are made to make them both faster and more environmentally friendly. Now, here at their manufacturing facility, workers are working on parts uh, for their autonomous delivery drones, which have been used to deliver vaccines to hospitals and also e-commerce deliveries for big companies like Walmart. Zipline is looking for 100 workers right now in robotics roles, from electrical engineers to data logging to customer application. Its CEO says that technology enables a better paying, safer job for the future. Before we were using a human to do one delivery at a time, driving a car one at a time to go and make deliveries. Now we're training that human to maintain and manage a fleet of robots so that human can now do 50 deliveries in an hour rather than five. And that enables us to pay that human a lot more. These are jobs that people actually really want. Now, automation advocates say robots and automation can help remove more menial tasks from some jobs to make workers more productive instead of replacing them altogether while keeping companies competitive. Jobs are available in engineering roles, programming, helping to integrate AI into these robots, even maintaining them once they're being used at companies all over the world. Guys, back over to you. So how do these zip lines work, the drones? <laughs> I'll do my best to explain it, Tyler. Yes, via drone. So this uh, is the basket where the package would be housed. These are the original zips. A delivery is being made in one of these. The company says every 90 seconds all around the world, this would be launched from one of their launch pads. The package would live in here. It would drop via parachute. This would then return back to its nest. I want to show you something else, though. This is the P2. This is the next generation delivery droid, which is going to be out next year. Companies like Sweetgreen are going to be using this. They say it can cover a 10-mile delivery in 10 minutes or less and most importantly they say the cost is about equal for what you're paying for a salad to be delivered today guys that, that, that's what's going to be my question i mean there's a lot of technology and engineering here and these devices cl clearly look like they are not exactly cheap uh how how, how mm -hmm. is it likely to raise the cost of a of an item i buy if at all <clears throat> Well, the company, Tyler, is private, so they're not releasing all of that cost data right now. But again, for this next generation droid that's going to be used next year, they told me the cost for a salad delivery would be comparable to what you're paying for delivery well, today. Right. Kate, real quickly, I see one person working behind you. How, how many people are actually involved in building <laughs> these things? Uh, Kelly, great question. I'm not sure how many people go into creating actually one of these products, but they are hiring again for 100 roles. There actually are quite a few people here, but just one behind me on the floor right now. All but right. again, uh, a lot of manpower goes into making say, these, operating them. And remember the logistics and design all in-house here, too. So there's a lot of opportunity outside of just the fabrication part. Yeah, no, obviously it's ironic to be manufacturing your own demise, but even then it shows how the modern factory has become so uh, labor efficient, shall we say. Kate, thank you very much. We appreciate it. That's right. Kate Rogers reporting.